okay, it's just you and me. <laughs> I don't know how to start this video. Hey guys, today I am gonna do a very highly requested video. It is called the TMI tag, which stands for too much information, which I hope it won't be. So I have the questions here. There are way too many questions in this TMI tag, but I'm gonna try and do as many as I can. So I hope you're ready to know a lot about me. Not too much, hopefully. <laughs> so let's get into this, shall we? What am I wearing? I am wearing a shirt, ooh, wearing a lot of hair. I'm wearing a shirt from Mango. It has really cute little, um, what do you call this? But really cute little detail here on the collar, which I really, really like. And it's very, very long. So it goes way down over here. And then I'm wearing trousers from Topshop. They're just black and they have little cuts here, which is now the huge thing is to wear cuts in your trousers. And then on my feet, I am wearing my Nike Roshes, which have my last name, but to you guys, that probably just says SR instead of Rose. But that's how I'm digging my look today. Yes, I have. I've had breakups, but I wouldn't consider them terrible, no. Just breakups. They're never like happy. You know, can't say that I've had a happy breakup. That would just be weird. <laughs> Let's break up, yay! No, I've just had normal breakups. <laughs> I am 161 centimeters, and which actually means one meter 61. And that one does make a huge difference. I would like to put that out there. And in inches, I am, in inches, in feet, I am, I had to write this down. I am five feet and three inches. Now I'm sure, just like in centimeters, those inches make a huge difference. So yes, 5.3 is how tall I am. I weigh 46 kilos, which is 101 pounds. Yes, I have a lot of tattoos, as you probably have noticed. Nope. Okay, I watch too many series, so this is probably like one of my favorite questions out of the TMI tag. So let me get this straight. I love Ross and Rachel, Kirsten and Sandy Cohen, um, and Carrie and Mr. Big. If I had to think about three different couples right now, those would be my top couples. I love them. And my favorite out of the three would have to be Ross and Rachel. Hey, I'm a Friends fan. This is a hard question because I watch way too many shows. How about I just say my favorite show at the moment? Because I think my all-time favorite show would be Friends, but if we were talking about contemporary shows, I think um, right now I am loving Heart of Dixie. I know I'm pretty pretty late, like everyone's seen it, it's finished, whatever, but I'm enjoying it. Rachel Wilson, I love her. And I'm also dying for the next season of The Good Wife to come. So yeah, those are probably my two favorite shows right now. Okay, I thought the favorite show was difficult, but favorite band? Ugh! Oh, I don't know, I don't know, there's just so many. Okay, how about if I just say my favorite bands at the moment? I feel like I'm always trying to find a way to like get out of the question, because <laughs> it's too hard. I am listening a lot to the 1975. I love them. Everybody knows I love like John Mayer and stuff. Obviously, every album that he does is like amazing. Jason Reeves. Oh, magic. Magic, 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 magic. Besides the fact that it's my favorite word, I just love the band. They make amu amusing, amusing music and amazing music and I love them. They're just so cool. Whew, something I miss. I think something that I miss a lot is um, spending Christmas in the UK, in London, where I used to spend them before with my family because um, it's really, really Christmassy in London. Like they do a lot of, um, they care a lot about uh, decorating the the city, and they they do a lot of like outside activities. Like once I was on Kings Road, and they had like this um, little choir of four or five men just singing Christmas carols, just for absolutely no reason. They were just there, and it's it's so cute and Christmassy, and you just feel like that whole ho 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 vibe. That's even a vibe. I miss it because where I used to live, which is Wimbledon, there was snow, and building a snowman. Can we build a snowman? was something that I actually used to do. So yeah, missing the snow in the UK. Ooh, my favorite song. Lee, what am I saying? <laughs> I think, I mean, my favorite song, and everyone knows this, is Switchfoot Dare You To Move because I feel like you can listen to it in any time of your life and for any actual moment. But if I had to think about favorite song that just gets me happy every time I listen to it, and you guys are gonna be like, what? But the song is called Mac the Knife. And if I had to sing it, it would be Oh, the shop has such teeth 
still and he shows them that pearly way. Okay, I don't know why I love this song, but it just gets me like doing this when I'm driving, which is would be like this. <laughs> I am 27. My zodiac sign is Aquarius, so we bear water. Yes, we do. Uh, I think honesty is important, but also I think having a sense of humor and just being able to laugh at yourself is definitely a huge quality for me because <laughs> hell, I laugh at myself too much. <laughs> my favorite quote ever since I was a kid, and I used to put this in my emails when I used to finish them, is by Run Wild, and it is, seek the wisdom of the ages, but look at the world through the eyes of a child. And I think that's really, really cool because I do like to um, learn as much as I can. I think that we're learning every single day. Um, but I also like to be able to not take myself too seriously and be able to have fun and just let the child in me run free, <laughs> which is an interesting image. Now this question is really, really hard because I don't exactly know what it means to have a favorite. Does a favorite mean an actor that you'll watch no matter what? Does it mean a favorite actor because you like their abilities to act? What does it mean? So I stopped and I thought to myself, what does this mean to me? And I think it comes down to the actor that no matter what movie he'll do, you'll watch it because you just love his acting skills and the fact that he makes you feel good about watching this movie. Okay, so the answer to that would be Bruce Willis. I think he's a great actor and I just enjoy his movies so much and he's kind of cute so that doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> Now my favorite color isn't a normal color like blue, yellow, black. It actually has its own special name because I am a special person. <laughs> and it is teal blue. Just, I love the color, it makes me feel all cozy and snuggly. So yeah, teal blue is my favorite color. Loud music in the car or at a party, soft music, romantic dinner, reading a book, chilling. Ooh, um, I think I like to go and I'm lucky to be able to live next to the beach because I do go a lot to the beach. I think it's it's a good thing to do like when you're sad to go out and breathe in some air and have a walk, look at the sea, look at nature and see what else is out there that's beautiful. That, you know, is the world that we live in. So yeah, definitely taking walks on the beach and just being around nature is definitely something that I do when I'm sad. Um, in general, Let's just go with general. Women, you know that it isn't the easy thing to do, like in general, normally you have, you know, if you have to go on a date in the morning, which pr pretty much never happens, but if you had to, you would take longer than a usual morning. But my mornings getting ready would take about, let's just say an hour. From going to the shower to putting on your morning skincare routine, getting dressed, eating breakfast, you know, an hour. I have not. I have had my best friend punch me in the face by accident while she was role playing. Yes, Anna, if you're watching, that's you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not a physical fight kind of person. Mm -mm. <laughs> Peace and love. Hands. I love hands. Ooh, being conceited. I don't like a guy that's full of himself. Nuh -uh. Or a guy or a girl. Just don't be full of yourself. The reason I joined YouTube was because I wanted to put my music out there and see if um, people liked my voice and what kind of songs they thought I should sing and some constructive criticism. I really didn't think about anything when I put the video. I was just like, ah, let's put it up there. As you can see, if you watch my first video, I really didn't care. <laughs> That's the reason. Oh. Way too many. Not that I'm a fearful person, I just have a lot of things I'm scared of. I don't like cockroaches, I'm terrified of cockroaches. Uh, I have a fear of flying, I have a fear of lightning. I'm a fearful kid. Oh, I think the last thing that made me cry was the story that my boyfriend showed me um, of a couple that were gonna get a divorce, but then she asked her husband to um, carry her for just one month before they actually sign the divorce papers and so he carries her for that whole month and he starts falling in love with her again and 
and when he finally realized he didn't want to have a divorce, she um, passed away because she had an, an illness or something. But it, it was so beautiful, the fact that you can get over any problem that you have in your relationship or in your marriage if you try. Like sometimes you think that you're done, you can't do anymore, but this story kind of made me think that if you really try even harder than you thought, that you can get over things and over obstacles and find the love that you always had if it's with your job, if it's with a relationship with a friend or even your boyfriend, girlfriend or husband or wife you can get over it so that pretty much made me cry but then again I cry easily so huh last time I said I loved someone was probably this morning <laughs> meaning behind my YouTube name. It's pretty self-explanatory. Mia, because it's my nickname, and Rose, because it's the translation of my Portuguese name to English. Portuguese name being Rosa, translation in English, Rose. Eh, that's it. The last book I read is, I actually have it here. Oh, it's, it's actually a prop right now, but it's by Candice Bushnell. It's the Lipstick Jungle. It's a lot of fun. I love Candice Bushnell, as you guys know. So I read that one, and I think I'm just going to go over everything that she's ever written so that I can say I'm like a huge fan. But yes, very good book. I recommend it. The last person I talked to, I think, was my boyfriend. So yeah, that was him. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. He's my boyfriend, so the relationship is of love. My favorite food would be, um, well, as a dessert, it's tiramisu, and as a general food, I think it would be guacamole. <laughs> Egypt. Do you mean in the house, or let's just say I was in Italy? Yes, I do. Um, that would be... If it's a greeting kiss, then this morning, but if it's like a kiss kiss, that would be yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, my favorite flavor of sweet. Um, that's a weird question. Let's just say popcorn. Popcorn. Pop that corn. <laughs> I play the guitar, the ukulele, a little bit of piano, and that's pretty much it. My favorite piece of jewelry would be probably this ring that I've had for way too many years because it's a promise that I had with myself, but it's a really small ring and I use it all the time on my left hand. That would be the answer. Oh, I have no idea. The last song I sang was Last Night with Anna Free. We are working on our new covers and it would be Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean? Definitely. Hey, how you doing? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> the last time, I don't have a last time because I'm still hanging out. I'm at Anna's house. She's doing stuff upstairs. So we're pretty much hanging but in different rooms. <laughs> In this video talking about tagging someone, I am going to be tagging Anna Free because I want to see what she has to say about all these questions and know too much information about her. So that was it guys, that is the TMI tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun to know a few things about me. Uh, if you want to see me doing other videos like these, just comment in the box below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see future videos. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my other sites like Stage It, my Patreon page to become a patron. It's really, really cool. My Facebook page, Instagram page, Snapchat. All these links will be in the description box below, so check that out. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video, okay?